Welcome or welcome back. Today I have a short unboxing for you today that I am so excited for from Goulet Pens. Oh my goodness. So I'll go over these kind of like goodies later. These are actually just empty bottles. Got the Tootsie Pop, as always. More empty bottles. Just wanted to be able to decant some Ferris wheel press inks. Little thank you card. Very nice. And uh, what we're all here for, which I'll get into in a second. And they included, oh, it's such a cute little sticker. I really liked this pen, the uh, E95 or the 95E, can't remember which way it goes, from Pilot. Just have some extra gold sailor converters for my other pens and some samples that we'll get into. But here is the main event. We have this super cute sticker. So this is an exclusive sticker with the purchase of the Goulet Northern Lights Blue Pen. Very nice. And here's the pen. Gorgeous. So pretty. And this is in a uh, Zoom nib. I am pretty desperate for some more zoom nibs. Very beautiful. So it has this dark blue. Got the green finials in the green section. Silver trim. So I'm going to go ahead and compare this to a few pens for you. So this is the Pen of the Year 2022 Soda Pop Blue compared to the Northern Lights Blue. So this obviously has gold trim and is much lighter. Also, you can see, I think the glitter's a little bit more intense on the Northern Lights Blue. Goulet says they always crank the glitter up to max on these pens. So I think this is about as much glitter as Sailor puts in pens. And then I'll show you this compared to the Northern Lights Purple, the previous edition. So you can see this is obviously a much different kind of comparison because the colors on this are completely different. But you have the same level of glitter, you have the same kind of trim color. Both very beautiful. And I have the perfect ink to put in this pen, so let me grab that real quick. So personally, I think the ink that goes best with this pen is Diamines Upon a Star, which uh, just happens to be the next ink in my ink vent series. It's a chameleon ink, so it has a dark blue and then it has a green chameleon shimmer to it. So I thought this would be absolutely perfect. Shake that up again. We'll get this filled up. So now that we've got this pen inked up, I'll give you a writing sample of it, demonstrate a little bit about that zoom nib, and show you the goodies that I got as promised. So a zoom nib is ground into a triangular shape with the tip of it being a lesser width than the lower part of the nib. So at a different angle, you get a different line width. And this is a pretty unique offering from Sailor. I don't think there's another company that has it on their ordinary line, although I could, <laughs> could be skipping somebody. But the reason I really like it is it's extremely smooth and like broad as a marker <laughs> if you're at a lower angle, angle. But if you're trying to fit in a lot of strokes for say kanji, if you're writing Japanese, then you can heighten the angle and get a thinner line. 
So here I show you at a higher angle, you get that really fine line. And then at a lower angle, you get a pretty broad line there. So I picked up three Ferris wheel press samplers while I was uh, getting this pen. I just find it to be super convenient to get these in a vial, especially with their um, chargers being so narrow. So this first one is Wonderland in Coral, which is a beautiful coral color with some gold shimmer to it. I actually ended up liking all of the colors that I got with this, but this was probably the biggest surprise to me, <laughs> but I did have to refilm this writing sample three or more times. So I'm almost out of this poor ink. So I might have to get an entire bottle of it now. I didn't think the readability of it in the fine end was too horrible. I mean, you're not having a great time with it and the shimmer at that. So I'd probably put it in at least a medium, but I like the uh, versatility of things still being readable on a fine nib. So the second color is pink sugar beach, which is a pink color with blue shimmer in it, which I've been collecting <laughs> reds and pinks with blue shimmer in it. I'm gonna make a whole video about that coming up pretty shortly now. I've got the uh, the big one I was waiting for now. But I find on these light pinks that the kind of electric pink overwhelms the light blue shimmer. So on this one, it was really hard to detect. So I would only put this in probably my Sakura Saijiki, which also has a zoom nib. Again, same as the Wonderland and Coral, still pretty readable in a fine nib though. So I like that you can kind of put it in a fine if you really want to. And the last one I probably liked the most, it was the Peter Moss. It makes me sad that Ferris Wheel Press doesn't make a ton of darker inks because I think they really do a good job when they do. They're kind of known for very desaturated light colors, but when they do, you know, go uh, more saturated or more dark, I just love that they go like a little bit of a unique color. There's a little bit of shading to it. It just looks so good. And uh, the properties of this ink in particular were very good. The other two seemed a little bit drier and this had a nice flow to it. So I might have to get it. <laughs> So now we'll do a final look of these and the writing sample. I've never known a sailor to not write very well out of the box and that ink was gorgeous. I'll show you a little bit more about it. And the Ferris wheel press inks I all liked. So I think they all make a nice pair there. So for that sneak peek of Upon a Star, I have a wearing gold swatch card. These are very cute. They kind of look like a photo and they have a border around them that repels ink. I got a bunch of the Wearing Gold Swatch stuff, so I'll be showing that in the future as well. But it really shows uh, the beauty of an ink's characteristics very well. And this has a lot to show. <laughs> it has a beautiful, vivid green shimmer and the sheen on it is incredible. So I think this is a great match for the pen, but also just an amazing ink in its own right. So there we have it, a final look at that pen. I'm absolutely in love, but let me know what you think. And thank you for spending some time with your, me here today. Bye.